why is Deftones so popular again? I mean, we talk about Deftones a lot in the metal scene of how every band basically takes the shoegaze element and they're taking it from Deftones. Like, they're a very popular influence in the metal scene. So it's interesting to see these guys, I guess, talk about it in a way that maybe they'll include the metal scene, but I think they're mainly going to talk about it in like the alternative scene and like TikTok. If you spend any time on TikTok, you've probably heard one of the many trending songs by Deftones. In the past two years, they've gathered over 30 million listens just through TikTok alone. Wow. But why is a band that's over 30 years old blowing up with Zoom? I didn't know that it's they were doing really well on uh, TikTok. Flashback to the year 2000. People are playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Malcolm in the Middle is on the TV. And every high school aged boy is either cosplaying as Slim Shady or These Flash were the good days. You've got Limp Biscuit fans, your Adidas tracksuit wearing corn fans, the OG Lincoln <laughs> and Park slobs. fans, and those screaming Armenians that really hate the Hollywood industrial complex. But little did anybody know an album by the band Deftones was about to rock everybody's world. Yeah. We're talking about the one and only. No, not that one. We're talking about the one and only. No, not that one. We're talking what? about the one and only White Pony. The okay. album was under the genre right. of new metal, but it was so much All more right, than then. that. Unlike other new metal, which was trying to be edgy, the image of Deftones was dark, more atmospheric, yeah, it was way, and it was artsy stuff while also being sexy and moaning a lot, and taking the <laughs> wire from the microphone and wrapping it around your hand and, and kind of breathing into it really close. Now, if you're a Zoomer like us, you point. weren't old enough to experience this stuff when it was new. We had the misfortune of growing up with Hot Topic while it was in that awkward phase of being a Deadpool Funko Pop warehouse uh, that just happened to have a Sleeping with Sirens or Semper Eternal Poor Zoomers. Too young to enjoy new metal at its peak, oh my God, but just 16 in time in the to background. be subjected what to the ultra style programming of goth girl supremacy in children's cartoons. That's right, I'm talking about Grippy Gwen. Sam from Danny Phantom, government name Daniel Fenton, Shigo, the Hex Girls, Raven. I genuinely, like, those cartoons really f***ed up the, the, the scene, bro. They really f***ed up the meta of what is, of what, yeah, goes on in the metal scene. Uh, it, it, yeah, it created a woman meta that did not need to be created. <laughs> so... Apologies to all the ladies that had to deal with dudes coming up to them saying, "Hey, are you uh, are you are you goth and stuff like that?" Yeah, sorry. That uh, yeah. <laughs> you really just had to grow up with these shows to understand how many of them had female goth characters. It's almost like the people writing these shows had something they were trying to tell us. Regardless, these characters. What was were that? No, what was that? That was some f***ed up subliminal messaging. The writers barely disguised fetish. Regardless, these characters were there to be relatable. By the 2000s, being alternative was so commercialized in our culture that it was inaccurate not to have some sort of character with a skull shirt or dyed hair and a piercing. There's True. always going to be that one kid that doesn't relate to the normies. And these characters are meant to show that that kid wasn't alone, yep. even if they would get no bitches as an adult. <laughs> now, you might be wondering... Oh, he just says this shit with a straight face, too. Like, zero cap. He just fucking says that. But what if I told you there was a Gen Z cartoon to Deftones Enjoyer pipeline? Many of these Whoa. future Deftones Enjoyers okay. thought that these cartoon characters were cool or attractive because they were bombarded with them at an impressionable age and grew a connection with them. Right. And as these kids grew up, they started identifying more and more with the alternative style that they were exposed mm -hmm. to and started to seek out the alternative yep. music associated with it. The way that these kids matured into Deftones is almost like how millennials grew up into adults who would use the word amazeballs and talk about how hard adulting is. And when you think about it, it's no wonder that the goth mommy True. GF meme and other variations became totally mainstream by the late 2010s and are still being made to this day and are totally burnt. Right. And got bitches. So now everyone's grown up a bit and we have all these alt teens and young adults and then all of a sudden they get access to TikTok which made it absolutely explode again. So Deftones is blowing up because of I, I'm a is it thirst traps? Is that why they're blowing up? So it's not like hey see my Deftones cover or this it's because there are goth ladies you know with Deftones songs in the background which hey if yo and if you're doing that fam get paid respect um but yeah so I, i'm just i'm wondering what is what is it what is it? it's it's chino's moan okay it's as simple as one girl with black eyeliner posting a video using change in the house of flies as a sound to rally up all the deftones fans like wildfire mm. it starts with the first wave of girls making deftones posts then the second wave with guys making deftones posts to simp for girls 
Oh my God, there's videos like this that already exist. Girls who listens to Deaf For the first wave of girls. And then the third wave, like many other trends, is normies from both sides trying to cash in. And now we have massive artists. That was the most logical thing I've ever been told. And I didn't, and it just, I did not expect it from this channel, but that was so fucking facts. <laughs> like The Weeknd or Trippy Red talking about their love of Deftones as well as the super trendy and tapped in underground rappers like Destroy Lonely or White Destroy Lonely mm. claiming Deftones influence. Now, obviously it's possible that these artists just like Deftones for the music and aesthetics by itself. And they most likely right. do. But it's also really cool right now to say that you take inspiration from Deftones because they're trendy. Between the all- These guys with their fucking subliminal messaging, man. Like, I just, I guess that's it. To add to the list of how you get a, a goth girlfriend, a goth GF, uh, apparently you gotta listen to Deftones too now. Between the alt kids, the smaller influencers, and the big celebrities, it all snowballs into Deftones being popular again. And now the band is headlining sold out festivals and filling up arenas with both new and old fans. Good for Deftones. I mean, they've been like, yeah, they've been a band for fing ever. So that's awesome. Honestly, this whole nostalgia effect in bands you know, is contributing to those. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Nostalgia plays a big, a big part. Uh, you can listen to worse music. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not complaining if f***ing Zoomers f go hard with Deftones. Oh, that... W I'm not... I'm going to hit play. I'm just... So the TikTok effect is definitely working in their favor. In a roundabout way, the same people that were into these goth cartoon biddies who, let's be honest, probably would have liked Deftones, are now more real people with a real sense of identity and community with cool music to go mm -hmm. along with it. All these people coming together for the sake of thirsting over a woman with black eyeliner, which isn't exclusively goth or even really that alternative. Nowadays, it's pretty much just the most basic way to signal that you're not like a, you know, a basic Starbucks girl. But come to think of it, Deftones isn't really goth or gothic metal. In fact, someone argued that it's not even new metal and the band themselves don't really identify with that and they see themselves as like this more transcendental sound overarching all of that. Yeah, you know, I got this cool band I wanted to show you. It's called uh, Deftones. Check this one out. All right, that video was amazing. Um, here you go, guys. If you like, go check out Neopunk. I mean, they're they're doing really well. Good for them. They're, honestly, out of anything getting released, I'm probably the most excited when it comes to YouTubers about what they release. They make really good content. The Channel Five type interviewing is by, is my favorite. But this the, these these videos are pretty good too. I mean, they're doing well for them. Like these views they're getting is crazy. Good for them. Deftones is a great band. I'm not really complaining. Little uh, you know the way it's getting popular. Hey, if it's through through thirst traps, that's cool too. <laughs> I mean, it's getting popular. I'm gonna be re hey, like, yo, if Termina randomly started to blow up through thirst tra thirst traps, I wouldn't complain. If anything, I'd be like, what what do y'all ladies need? Do you need more saxophone in the songs? You know what I mean? Like, I, what what do y'all need? I'll make we'll make it happen. I don't care. I'm fine with that. I'm totally cool. So hey, if if it does the thing, it does the thing.